Hi, it's Noel McKeegan from Gizmag coming to you again from the Frankfurt Motor Show and we're here today with uh, what is the Gizmag's team's pick of the show. It's the Audi e-tron concept car. Now, uh, our impressions of concept cars as sort of boxy and, and very unsexy vehicles have been eroded over the last uh, few years with um, a wave of concepts and cars like the Tesla Roadster appearing on the market. But if you had any impression that um, the electric car was a little bit um, uncool, then this thing will shatter that totally. It's basically what they've done is taken an R8 sports car, thrown out the internal combustion engine and replaced it with uh, four electric motors. Now those four electric motors are producing about 230 kilowatts, but the killer figure for this car is the torque. According to Audi, this thing puts out a phenomenal 4,500 newton metres of torque. To put that in perspective, it's, uh, it's about three and a half times what you'll get out of a Bugatti Veyron, and it's, you know, it's like 20 times what the Tesla Roadster puts out in terms of torque. And because it's an electric car, you get that torque instantly. Uh, the other thing to be said about it is it's an exquisite looking vehicle. We've got a number of innovations to, to uh, help the, the drag, the drag coefficient, and keep those sleek lines. Uh, one of them you can see here are these rear air intakes. You can't actually see it at the moment because the idea is this flush panel at the back, at speed when there's more air required, uh, that will open as a rear air intake in front of the well. You've also got, uh, rather than your traditional uh, rear view mirrors on the side that's been replaced by cameras, uh, 19 inch alloys all round and as the car turns around you'll see probably the most striking feature which is the LED headlight array. Now Audi's a, a little bit of a pioneer in, uh, in terms of LED technology and uh, with these, these uh, headlights in, the, in this concept they've gone that little bit further in that they've, they've linked the, the headlights to a camera system so they become adaptive in that uh, weather conditions can be adjusted. Um, if it's foggy, for example, they'll go lower and brighter. And also the other thing is they are alert to oncoming traffic. So if um, there's no need to manually dip your lights or anything like that. Uh, you can also see the vertical air intakes at the front. There's also a number of uh, innovations on the inside of the car. Um, because it's an electric car, of course, you don't need a gear shifter. You only need forward, reverse and neutral. Uh, in the Audi e-tron, the gear stick is actually invisible until you start the car where it pops out of the console. And a lot of switches have been uh, thrown out, basically, and replaced by touch panel technology like you'll find in your modern smartphones. Looking at the back of the vehicle, the, uh, the obvious omission is that there are no tailpipes. Um, instead, the car is, uh, is charged in a number of ways. It can be um, charged in six to eight hours through a, a normal outlet, according to Audi. There's also a high voltage solution, which will charge it um, a, a lot quicker. And uh, Audi engineers are also looking at an inductive wireless solution. So the idea there would be no plugs, no cords, just park the car in the garage and it will charge overnight. Now the, uh, beautiful, the beautiful shiny red surface you see uh, on the car isn't metal. It's actually made of a, a fibre reinforced plastic and that combined with extensive use of aluminium in the, in the frame has kept the weight of the car to around 1600 kilograms, although Audi uh, helped us, uh, hope to strip uh, quite a bit more weight off it yet. Um, also notable is the um, the back section of the car. It's a two-seater as you can see and the behind the seats below this silver grille is where the obviously rather large battery pack sits. The grille can also be open to bring uh, air in to cool the batteries. This really is a beautiful vehicle. It's exquisite and I'm not sure if that translates to the camera but uh, we certainly get that impression here at the show standing next to it. The other piece of news is that uh, Audi do intend to uh, bring this car to market in 2012 under a very limited production. Um, 
no word on price or final specifications, it's far too early for that, but um, we can only assume that the price point will be, uh, will be up there. Um, so it might be out of my range, but if there is any chance of a test drive, I would love to get my uh, hands on this car and see what it feels like to, uh, to put your foot down and have that much torque instantly. Uh, as I said, it's a beautiful car. It's our pick of the show. Well done, Audi.